Good morning, everyone. Excuse my unruly hair and sleepy eyes. I um I was thinking about you know doing myself up for this, but I was like, you know what? That's not me. You know, for the events and stuff, I'll do myself up. But when I'm painting, I just roll out of bed, grab a coffee, and get to work. So. Today, I want to teach you guys how to do inside out painting, or reverse painting as they call it. Um, what it does is gives you the appearance of having a painting inside of the glass. I don't know if you can see it very good, but. And I've started this one here, and on the outside right now it's blank, but by the end of the show, um, you'll be able to see how there's a painting on one side and also on the other. So, um, first off, what I do, for this design anyways, is, well, I'll be right back. I use a tracer. Um, for this one, it's an anchor. Um, what I do is I do a black outline of the anchor. So I've already done that for you. And then the calligraphy has to be inside out. I mean, it has to be backwards um, inside the glass. So that way you can see it forwards from the opposite side. So um, I couldn't find the program to swap out. I'm sure on your computer you could probably find a program to switch it. I think maybe Adobe Photoshop or um, Illustrator. I'm sure Illustrator does it. Um, but I couldn't figure it out. So I just put mine back or inside out on the thing and if you shine it through the light you can see um, it in reverse. So I stick this inside of my glass, make sure it's definitely very straight and even and I start doing my outline. After you get the outline done then you fill the insides of the picture that you want inside and then you just paint the um, the background for your painting and then you can start painting forward like normal. Um, just make sure for every step of your process that you don't gob the paint on. Make sure it's a very thin layer of paint because at the end of it if you have like thick lines and thick parts of the paint you're gonna see it through your final outside picture. So just make sure that you keep, you keep it nice and thin and that way you don't have gobs of paint all over the place. So um, you want to watch me paint for a while. I'm just going to add some more blue to this because it's kind of see-through a little bit. For most of my projects, I, I only have to use two brushes. Um, some other ones I, I use other brushes, but mainly I use like a, a nice fine point. Um, I've had this brush for so long that I don't even, it doesn't even have the brand on it anymore. I really need to buy new brushes. And then the other brush I use for my calligraphy, which for a while I wasn't even using this and it was I was just using the fine point for calligraphy and it would give me like uh, uneven lines like I would start real thin and then it would get thicker because like you have to work so much harder with this one for the calligraphy so now I use this nice long pointed paintbrush and the sweeping motions that it creates it's so much easier to do calligraphy and long lines because like as you pull the brush it just it keeps coming down I mean you have to keep adding paint to it you know but it's nothing like using this for calligraphy so that's definitely a good pointer if you are new to painting calligraphy on glass. But yeah, if, uh, if you paint on canvas a lot, painting on glass is definitely a lot different at first because the surface area is different. You know, it's curved and 
you have, you have to worry about what um, what shows on the inside, or I do anyways. Some people just have blotches on the inside of their glass, but I feel like it's clear, and the whole point of painting on glass is, see, it's, it's like a, it's a 3D object, you know, so I like to make sure that the painting on the inside is just as aesthetically pleasing as on the exterior of the glass, so. So yeah, I don't know if you really want to keep watching me paint, but it's been fun. I'm, I'm glad that if I could help you in any way with your painting projects, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me. By all means, I don't mind sharing trade secrets. But yeah, so that's a little bit thicker. And then, like I said, I'll just put my background on the opposite side, and there you have it. So, for all those people that, like, I have a lot of people that come to the shows, and they're looking at my glasses, and they're like, wow, do you paint on the inside of the glass? No, 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 no. I paint on the exterior of the glass. Everything is drinkable. You know, you can drink out of this, and I have to worry about paint chips getting in your mouth. Um... And actually, I think it would be a lot harder to paint on the inside of the glass because you'd have to, like, yeah, that wouldn't work. No, just painting on the exterior of the glass. It takes a while, you know. At first, it's kind of difficult, but um, as you go on, your, your brain actually wraps around the concept, and you start to think more it, about the steps that you need to take. So at first it's kind of difficult, but then it just, it gets really easy. And now sometimes it's difficult for me to start, like, like for me to paint on canvas, I'd probably be doing the opposite things like what you would see last, I, you know what I mean? So you like, your brain definitely thinks differently when you start painting in reverse. <laughs> but, alright, well thank you for joining me this morning, and um, maybe I'll do some more of these, it's been fun. Take care. Bye.